welcome back. You're watching Vegan Obligate. some of those like fake meats, the vegan meats from Morningstar and we're gonna give it a go because it is Taco Tuesday so we must celebrate adequately. So here's my recipe guys and I hope you enjoy. Happy Taco Tuesday! And this is gonna start with a head of cauliflower. Actually I'm gonna use like about half of it, maybe half of half. <laughs> because with tacos you always need to have rice, okay? And we're gonna try this cauliflower rice thing out. Boop, boop, boop. Make sure you chop it. I used a good processor, but it's so small that you still kind of have to chop the cauliflower a bit. And you should definitely invest in one of these guys. I got it for like six bucks at a Goodwill, brand new. Definitely came in handy. And then it's beautiful, man. I did have to shake it up a bit. <laughs> and voila, it comes out looking like rice, man. Put a cumin. Salt, those two things always add awesome flavor. Those are my go to's. A hint of lime. So it can taste really fresh. In a bowl. I was actually surprised that it did make it like a rice consistency. Just get a regular tomato, just, you know, slice it. No taco is complete without its veggies, man, okay? Important step. You cannot skip it. Get your cilantro. Just chop it up finely as well. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I only got a little bit of onion because then it's just too much for me. But I do like the crunch. The color, guys. Get as much color into that taco as you possibly can. The more color, the better. Roll that lime again so it can get extra juicy. Oh, I love putting so much lime on my pico de gallo. It's just <sighs> my mouth waters. <laughs> Delicious. See that? Oh, beautiful. Ah, the main attraction, the main star. It's 100% vegan. I actually bought it at the 99 cent store. There's no shame in bargain shopping, guys. I'd rather save money. These things cost like five bucks at any other store. So yeah, I'm a winner. They were just like frozen bars inside the bag. And what do those bars contain? Well, they're made up of water, soy protein isolate, wheat gluten, corn oil, and also contains 2% or less of all of this. And spoiler alert, it contains soy and wheat ingredients. It just has to add a little bit of water to the pan and add all of that stuff in there. You're basically just steaming all of the fake meat, hence the water. I think I cooked it in about what, 7 minutes, just letting it steam and stirring it around. Dice up that cabbage like I said, the more color the better guys. And the moment of truth, go ahead and put in that fake meat. Get that pico de gallo in there as well. Layer it, <laughs> smother it, add that cabbage with a side of cauliflower rice. That's like my new favorite thing now, cauliflower rice. Beautiful ripe avocado. And just start to get everything ready guys. You eat with your eyes first, so presentation is key. Make it look pretty. <laughs> it's awesome. I wonder why I only made one taco though. <laughs> I love me my tacos. And what do I think about it in the end? Total yes. I would definitely recommend this for a meat substitution anytime. The seasonings were there. To me personally, it felt like a little rubbery. Did it taste exactly like meat? No, of course it did not. However, it does hold a strong number. One spot of vegan meat. <laughs> Bye guys, see you next time. Ay Dios mío. Let's get a taco. <laughs>